gonna go grind it. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna hit my starting spot for about 20 minutes, then I'm gonna go grind it. Down there in the, I mean, it's only a minute from where, from my other, my two places are only like a mile apart, so it's all good. All right, so day three of the Mississippi River at La Crosse. This is pool eight on the Mississippi River, and got more rain. Yesterday we had a thunderstorm, we had lightning, so we actually delayed the tournament for an hour, and I was in early flight, so I had a seven hour fishing day instead of an eight, which is which is fine. Everybody's gotta deal with that type of stuff, but today we still got a little bit of rain, not gonna be as much lightning, and it's really kind of drizzly. So that's gonna make me kind of change exactly how I think the fish will bite. A lot of times whenever it's really bright and sunny, and you're fishing around those mats and those duckweeds stuff like that you almost never get a fish to commit to it in the holes but it seems like whenever it's cloudy and rainy like this sometimes they'll eat a little bit better those fish that are on the outside edge and in those holes and stuff they'll eat a little bit better so we're going to focus on that a little bit more today and hopefully we'll dial it in and catch a couple big ones we are not out of this as far as a win is concerned we just got to catch like 17 pounds twice in a row which here is extremely difficult but we've had the bites we've had the bites both days but with, you know, whenever you're throwing a frog in those mats, they just don't get it. Haven't really lost them. They're just not getting it. But they're showing themselves to me, so I know where they are. I got some waypoints on some really big ones. So hopefully today they eat that frog and I can land them. But it's been fun. If y'all see my YouTube stuff, y'all know I love this type of fishing, frogging, flipping, all that type of stuff. That's all I've been doing for two days is literally throwing a frog and flipping here and there. So it's been fun. And hopefully we can extend it, make it to day four, because I have not top 10 a regular season elite event this year. So I'm kind of mad about it. So let's go make that happen today.
It's like a Suzuki, it's slow out of the hole and no top end. We all tried. I, I gambled a, a lot today. I tried to catch a big bag. I did everything I could. I feel like. And I got just enough bites to make me keep doing it. So, I spent a lot of time trying to catch big ones. And finally, at like 12 o'clock, I went to a limit spot, caught four in like 30 minutes, and then went back to grinding for a big one. So, I got one of those good bites. Needed three or four of them, though. I only got two of them big ones. That's why I figured you said that. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He's qualified for two of them from Alabama. He is Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. 25 pounds and nine ounces to start the day. Five fish to add to that here today. Twelve pounds, nine ounces. Gives him 38 pounds and two ounces. He moves into 28th place. Let's hear it for Kyle Welcher. Kyle, I know this season was your toughest season on the Elite Series yet, but up to this point, I mean, there hasn't been too many tough events, but I know you're looking forward to kind of taking a little time away, right in the ship, and coming back swinging again next year. Yeah, d definitely. I have a, I have some stuff I have to work on to go, going into next year. Just be a little more consistent. You know, my first two years, I was extremely blessed. And as and my entire career on the elites as a whole has been very good. You know, I can't complain. But this year, I did have a tough one. I'm glad we got to have some good momentum going to the off season. So hopefully next year we can, you know, right the ship and get back. in Because I really want to fish the Classic. I came into this tournament trying to win. Like, I really wanted to win this one. Because if you win this one, you get to go to the Classic. So I'm going to be really not happy having to work the classic th this year and not be able to fish it but hey maybe in, in the next year we'll, we'll make it back so that's how it goes i'm looking forward to seeing you back here next year and i know it'll be a good one